Uh, Mr. General, how many acres is the uh, cemetery? Uh, we have 23 acres that extends on the west side, Texas Avenue, on the east side, Menin Road, on the south side, E Street, and on the north side, C Street. It's, it's a European style winding uh, piece of land with elevations from about uh, 95 feet above sea level to about 210 feet above sea level. What did you say your major challenges are for the, the uh, cemetery? Some of our major challenges are, are to identify and locate uh, uh, funding for routine maintenance of the grounds uh, in an effort to provide to make the grounds available for uh, tours, historical tours, to honor the lives of our ancestors. Okay, great. Thank you. Mr. Moore, can you tell me what the overall future plans for the cemetery are? What's your, what are your future goals for the cemetery? We hope to see that uh, Woodlawn will be put into some kind of lifeless shape, cleaned up and everything, so it can become a tourist attraction. So that when uh, tourists come to Washington, D.C. and our city, uh, instead of uh, always just being able to go down to the monument ground, we want Woodlawn added into that picture because as the trail that is, has been started over on Nanny Helen Burr to tie it all in together, we would like to see Woodlawn being a part of that project. It, it will help the kids educationally, and as my uh, president had just spoken a few minutes ago about we hope to see one day that Woodlawn can be a place for training, uh, uh, skills, and what have you. So this is what we would like to see about Woodlawn. We want to be, we want to make Woodlawn a better place that those that has gone on before, that had planned and did so much for us before, to see that Woodlawn can uh, be a community place to help to better the community Ward 7, and not only Ward 7, but throughout the whole Washington, D.C. area, and with it being a historical site throughout the nation. So this is what we want to see. Thank you. Yes, Mr. General, can you point out some of the historic figures who are buried here at Woodlawn Cemetery? A couple of our more prominent uh, individuals interred here consist of Senator Blanche K. Bruce, who was the first African American to serve a full term in the United States Senate, uh, Congressman John Mercer Langston, who was the first African American from the state of Virginia and also the founder of Howard University Law School, of the State of Virginia University, and of Langston University in Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, Congressman Langston was an extremely active participant during the Civil War, recruiting hundreds of so colored soldiers that fought uh, in the Civil War. Uh, we also have Congressman uh, Menard on the far side of the cemetery. That pretty much covers the political end. We also have Dr. Uh, Francis, who was one of the first trustees for the Freeman's Bureau, which uh, eventually led to Howard University Hospital, Howard University itself, and many active programs that benefited uh, people of color in America. Thank you. Mr. General, can you tell me what your long-term goal is for uh, the cemetery, how you want to use it in the future? Our long-term goal is to make these grounds available as a memorial park to honor the lives of our ancestors, to teach American history, to teach African American history, and to remember the contributions made by uh, African Americans to the United States.